Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Tuesday, another day in the house. <laughs> the weather is getting a lot better here though in Wisconsin. So Haley actually said she wanted to go for a walk today. Look, Brooke Belke is the first one in. Um, we didn't go for a walk today, but that's because I had a whole bunch of little fires to put out. <laughs> Sometimes your days don't go as planned, right? Melinda is here. She made it. Yay, Melinda. Barbara. I see Barbara coming in. Barbara, how are you doing? Um, we're getting along pretty good here. Steve is making tacos and all the fixings to take over to Anna's house tonight and drop off so that her family can have dinner something nice he can do for them. He was outside today. We had a big limb come come down off of our pine tree in the backyard. So he was playing lumberjack today. And what did he call that, Haley? He came to the door and man he said, glitter. oh yeah, he came to the door of my office and he said, I have man glitter all over me because he was kind of covered in sawdust. <laughs> and I kind of giggled and went, oh, you're dropping that all over my house. <laughs> but Whatever, right? We can get out the vacuum cleaner. And uh, yeah, so that was kind of funny. But yeah, I had a, um, we had a new promotion start today. Celebration third release. This is only going to last a week. And I know this is backwards, so I'll show it to you. If, if you've checked on my Facebook page, I do have a link to this where you can click on it and open it up and see it like for yourself. But we have red rhinestone basic jewels, our mini shipping boxes, follow your art, Dyna Roar, and woven threads designer series paper. Also, the shimmer detailed laser cut paper. Remember when I made that card with the strips of the um, celebration vellum? That's what I used was this paper right here. It's beautiful. It's shimmery. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then the Rococo Rose combo pack of Stampin' Blends is also available with your $50 order, you can get it for free. Then, for $100 order, you can get our Butterfly Duo Punch. Punches out two butterflies. Or the Wild Rose Dyes, which are really, 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 really pretty. We're going to be using them today. So, I'm excited about that. Um, I just got done designing a couple cards using those dyes. So, I can show you what they do. You can get... The punch or the die is free with a $100 order. So, lots of options. Only one week left of celebration. Holy cow, right? That it goes by so fast. Um, it is the biggest promotion of the year. Please don't forget, if you have ever considered being a discount shopper with Stampin' Up, do it before next Tuesday. You're going to get all this stuff for free. An extra stamp set of your choice, any one you want. Um, as long as it's orderable, I want to make that very clear. Our exclusive host sets are not available and celebration sets are not available with that. But any other sets. And then this pack of paper and our cute little mini guillotine trimmer. You get that all included with your discount shopper kit plus a paper pumpkin kit. All of it's worth about $215. You get it for $99 free shipping. And you get a 20% discount on all your future orders. And you get to be on my team, which is a lot of fun. Mary Lynn says, the sun is out in North Texas. Good for you. It's, um, I don't know, was it sunnier here? To, it was sunnier it was sunny. earlier. Now it's getting kind of very overcast. But we're supposed to get snow, so. <laughs> Yay, Wisconsin. We love it, right? All right, I did a drawing for comments left on yesterday's Facebook Live. Thank you guys so much. You are making my days so special by coming and watching with me or watching the replay later and leaving comments. It just makes my heart happy. Um, I have two sets of doilies here. So, cool thing. These are colored. These are red. Now, you can turn these over and they're white on the other side and you can sponge them and make them any color that you want them. That's why they're so cool. So like you're like Valentine's hearts, it's over. But you can turn these over and make them blue or yellow or any color you want. And we need more hearts going on cards right now, right? <laughs> Especially right now. So the winner from yesterday's Facebook Live is Diane Lewis from New Rochelle, New York. Congratulations. I am going to send these off in the mail to you. 
And I have Haley here today. She is sitting right over there, right over there. And she's going to bring over the cute little cards that she's making. Now, hang on, Haley. I want to explain this just a little bit. I have these little tiny envelopes, and a regular size card won't fit in them. So I asked Haley to design and make me some little skinny cards that will fit in here for sending out these types of prizes. And now we're ready, my dear. Here comes the cute little cards. She made them in a whole bunch of colors. Here, let me put that up a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Pop those right up, there you go. Aren't they cute? So those are the cards that I'm going to be sending to accompany my little prizes that can go in these cute little envelopes. Yeah, I feel pretty lucky right now to have her here designing and making lots of swaps. How many did you say you were gonna make of those? Uh, 43 it's gonna end up. Being. She's gonna end up with 43 of those little cards. So I will have them for quite a while. And I send them out for various reasons. I also send door prizes to my um, team. When we have a team meeting, they get entered in the door prizes if they are virtual, meaning they're not close enough to attend in person. So that's another benefit of being on my team is we have team meetings once a month and I do a Facebook Live just like this so everybody gets to join in. Um, my favorite part of team meetings is watching other people demonstrate cool stuff for us. Fun folds, techniques, showing us how to make little box baskets. Um, this actually, this idea was from our very own Gina Bulow and she demonstrated this at the last team meeting and then I made it for you guys here. So. I get some great ideas from these gals. They are very, very creative and talented and have a lot of fun. And if, if anybody's sitting at home going, but I'm not real creative, you can join us and learn and, and make the creative things. Sometimes I feel like I'm not the most creative person in the world either, but I love learning from other people and I can copy what they make because that's what it's all about is sharing what we love, right? So, um... If anybody, again, wants to see the new free stuff for the Celebration 3rd release, you'll find this on my Facebook page. Just scroll down until you see this graphic. And then there's a link there where you can open up this PDF file, or it'll go to the PDF file. And you can see all the new goodies that are available. But we're going to be using, where'd my dies go? Right here. We're going to be using those Wild Rose dies. And I'm going to pair them up with two a wild rose. And oh, I was going to look this up because this is, I think, um, um, I said this wrong one other time, so I'm not going to do it again. So hang on. I've got out my catalog, and there's an index in the back of our catalog that we can look up stuff. And two a wild rose is on page 26. It's also available in French if anybody likes French. That wasn't right. Hang on, I can't apparently read, and I do have my good glasses on. Well, they're actually my old glasses. At least they're not melted. Page, it's $26, mm -hmm. page 141. Yeah, so Haley um, messaged me this morning. She set her glasses down too close to her curling iron and burned the lens. It, like, melted it. <sighs> And then, oh, and then it got better. Well, that's the worst. The other thing that happened was not a big deal. But then she came over and Steve had made some cheeseburgers yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. So she turned, um, um, an, um, what do you call that? A burner, a burner on, on the top of the stove. Look, I haven't cooked in so long. I didn't even remember what the things are called. <laughs> Just totally kidding. I've cooked. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> She turned on the burner to toast her bun to eat one of the cheeseburgers Steve made yesterday. She turned on the wrong burner, and we have these plastic um, covers that we keep in the microwave. You put them over your bowls so stuff doesn't splatter or it's a plate cover. That was sitting on the burner that she did turn on, and she melted it. So she melted her glasses with her curling iron. She melted the plastic lid on the stove. She's like, oh, my gosh, I'm having such a terrible Pre day. Pregnancy brain. Pregnancy brain, she called it. So, and I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. It'll get worse. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I remember when I was pregnant with her, I ran my washing machine through a complete cycle with no clothes in it. I also was going to make a turkey dinner, and I can't remember exactly why I was making the turkey dinner, but um, I turned the oven on to preheat, 
and about an hour before the turkey was to be done I went to put in start all my side dishes like my mashed potatoes and and whatever else I had going on there my I made some stuffing and um I opened up the oven to put those things in and I never put my turkey in <laughs> that was pregnancy brain too so I understand but anyways I was looking to see yes I was right okay to a Wild Rose is from one of our Million Dollar Achievers, Mary Ellen Byler. She mm. is one of our Amish girls. Haley just went, aw, because she knows Mary Ellen. She has met her on our incentive trips. Mary Ellen is a friend of mine. I adore her. And um, she hit a million dollars, and this was the set that she made. And this has everything to do with her grandmother. I think her grandmother's name was Rose, and so this is to a wild rose. And just kind of a sweet, touching little story behind that. But anyways, you can order this stamp set. It's in the annual catalog, and then you can get the wild rose dies free with your $100 order. So that's a really good deal. I think we're going to be ready to flip our camera around here. Let me put this away. I am going to... Hang on, I've got stuff popping up. Hang tight. I'm going to bring the live up on my screen so I can kind of monitor. I don't monitor very well. Let's let's just be real. I don't monitor the comments as I'm stamping because it's just a lot to do. And I don't want to be poking around and you guys like fall asleep on me or anything. But I do look over occasionally to see what's what you guys are saying. If you're asking any questions, anything like that. Because... You, you know, a Haley goes, you do a pretty good job. And I'm like, thank you. But I don't feel like I do. I feel like I kind of miss a lot. But um, anyways, I see Kathy Miller and Janet Schmidt are here. And Faith Green just popped in. And Diana and Judy and holy cow, we got lots of people on. All right. I'm going to turn my camera around. And we are going to do a little stamping. Are you guys ready? So, get Steve to help you monitor your comments. Yeah, Gilmore, that sounds like a really good idea, but I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> because yeah. he doesn't have a lot of patience, and um, it's hard for me to get him to do any of my <laughs> helping me work. It doesn't work out very good. Like, he could certainly run the big shot for me when I need a bunch of stuff die cut, but he won't. And I had him cut out an elephants one time. Not so much. <laughs> we'll keep him in the kitchen. And we'll keep him covered in man glitter. Out being a lumberjack. And he finished the old room upstairs. Haley's old bedroom today. And we actually moved my new. One of my new pieces of furniture from my bedroom. Set in there. And it looks so pretty. Um, so he can do that stuff. But monitor this. Not so much. I think he'd be rather distracting, too. Marcia says, is this Tuesday's live? Kelly, yes, this is Tuesday live. <laughs> okay, we're flipping. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness, and I will let you know. Ouch, I just pinched my hand in my video stand. I'll let you know in just a second here when you can open your eyes. Okay, we're good. You can open. All right. So you can see this right side now, um, so it's not backwards. This is to a wild rose. It's got 13 different images in it, and it is photopolymer, which I love because photopolymer, I think, is my favorite. Let's see if I can get those back in there. It's got some beautiful greetings in here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six different greetings in here. And I love the fonts. I love these fonts on these, right? And this is a three-step stamping process. So we actually have three steps with our leaves, three steps with our flowers. And then this little blobby thing is for the center of our flower. So it's pretty darn cool. All right. I had to take a drink there. Here's our celebration. Third release, all these goodies. Now, if you have filled up on your celebration stuff and you don't need any of the stuff in our brochures, you can continue to get free stuff with all of these items being added. So that's pretty neat, too. And I'm going to put that over to the side. Bring in my piercing mat. Oh, wait, that one's dirty. I don't like bringing dirty stuff in for you. This one's clean, and that's what we're going to use. I'm also going to grab my chamois here so that I can clean my stamps. 
I've got everything mounted and I didn't mount all three leaves. I only mounted two of them and I think we'll be fine with that. But just so you know, it is a three-step stamping process that you could mount all three of them. And I'm going to bring in, oh shoot, what is this called? Does it, who knows? I can't remember. It just, my, I drew a blank. This flower embossing folder. I can't remember what it's called. Somebody will tell me. Um, we're going to bring that in. And then I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers. And I have a big scrap of basic black. I have a piece, country floral. Thank you very much. That was Ashley. Ashley, you're always good to me. Thank you. Country floral embossing folder. Then I've got um, old olive. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've just folded it in half. I've already burnished this edge. I've got two pieces of whisper white that are four by five and a quarter. One for the inside, one for the front. Got a big scrap of white, a big scrap of black, and I've also got my envelope here. And I think we're going to do our little envelope thing first. So let me bring in my big shot because this is something that I do from time to time with envelopes. And I am going to, hmm, let me think about this for a second. We're going to, I want to make sure that. Here we go. So I'm putting this in here. My envelope opens back here and I'm putting it in here so I can see the Stampin' Up! logo. And that's important because I want my images to be raised up, not inverted, right? So we're gonna put this in our big shot. We need a, I need a clear plate because this is an older embossing folder. And we're gonna run this through. Wait for it. This is incredibly gorgeous. Now, who doesn't love that? That's just a little trick that I like to do with my envelopes from time to time. I'm going to leave that sit right there. Then, as long as we've done that, I'm going to bring in another envelope. And I've got the, um, what is this called? Wood grain? Ashley, what is this called? <laughs> oh, pine wood planks. I wrote it on here because I can never, ever remember this one. I usually know what the country floral one is called, but I can't remember that one. And I'm going to put the flap of my envelope into my pine wood planks. And I just folded it over the back. And we're going to run this through our big shot. There we go and give it a wood grain look. Hang on my computer screen. Look at that. Wood grain. Can you guys see that? I hope you can see it. It's very pretty on my end. And if you can't see it very well in the camera, try it and you're gonna absolutely love it because it's so cool to do this with your envelopes. Okay, we're done here with this for a little while. Now, we've got both of our envelopes done for two cards we're making today. I'm going to set this off to the side. We're done with this. I'm going to bring these in. Now we're going to do a little stamping. And I'm going to bring in my black first. Here comes my Versamark ink. We're going to do a little embossing. I've really been grooving on black cardstock with white embossing to give our cards that big pop that they need. It's just a very easy way that you can do that. I'm gonna grab my embossing buddy. Hang on here. This just helps keep the embossing powder on the stamped image. And let me ink this up again just to make sure. I'm going to do one here. I need two of these. We're making two cards and I'm gonna use two of these. So I've got both of those. Then I'm going to bring in my white embossing powder. My friend Jamie that gave me all these little containers, she told me they're from either Ikea or Target. I think you can get them both places. She is making masks right now. She is a seamstress, a sewer. 
So she's been making sewing masks and giving them to people as they need them. Which I think is just a wonderful, wonderful way to share her ability, right? Her sewing ability. Not everybody sews. I am also a sewer. I haven't made anything in a while, but I used to make all my own clothes. And I was my father's personal tailor, he always called me. I made all of his shirts. He would only wear Western shirts, and I made them. So he had a whole closet full of shirts that I made him, and he loved them. He bragged about them all the time. Okay, hit this with your heat tool. I've got my old decrepit heat tool here. Once it gets heated up, then it goes to town. You can, I hope you can see that it's turning glossy. I like to hold it up at an angle like this so I can see when I'm done and I can keep moving to the, you know, to emboss the rest of it. Now, some people like to do all this with your embossing gun. You don't have to do that. Just hold it on there until it melts and then move it along. I kind of like to be efficient that way. But it's not wrong if you're like this. If that makes you happy, you jiggle that gun, sister. <laughs> Whatever works for you. There we go. Oops, I got things falling all over the place. Okay, so this looks pretty cool, right? That's a big pop. And in with these dies, we've got all kinds of things. We've got a die to cut out the flower. Okay, so that's what this one is. We've got this die, which is super duper pretty. And that does this. Look, it matches my sweater today. I'm wearing rich razzleberry. And then we've got this flower. Hang on, I got one of those in here too, someplace. There it is. This flower right here cuts that out. That's really pretty, right? Oh, here's another one in um, Rococo Rose. Those are pretty. Then we've got this. Oh, is this the, no, that's not the right die. Uh-oh, am I missing a die? Oh no, here it is. Don't worry, I got it. This little die right here makes these little spriggy deals. And I thought I had this leaf someplace. Did you guys see and did it fall out somewhere? I thought I... I don't know. Anyways, I had that cut out, but we also have this leaf. I'll probably find it before we're done. So there's lots of dies in here. Also, we have a die that cuts out this leaf right here, right here. We have a die that cuts out, this one is for the little center deal for the flower. And this big daddy. And this is a label die. Let me put all this stuff away so I don't lose it, okay? I already lost that leaf. I don't know what happened to that stinking thing. It was here. Maybe I didn't have one. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows for sure? <laughs> Nobody will ever know. Get these all put back in here. Because you hate it when you lose a die, right? And is this... Yeah, these are the ones I was looking for, I think. Did I already show them to you? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, that we have this die. Okay, so um, we are going to use this to die cut our labels. And through the magic of TV, I have already done that. So we have these beautiful labels. I'm going to use one for each of the cards that we're going to make. So I can put that away now. And we can do... A little bit of stamping. We're going to keep this floral die out because we're going to use that yet. I'll use this for something else. Don't worry. Don't fret over that. Okay, here comes... Oh, did I ever... I didn't. Hang on. I also needed to take one of our Whisper White layers and run it through the Country Floral Embossing Folder, and that's what I've done here. So I already did that. Set that aside now. Where'd that big white piece of cardstock go? Here it is. We're gonna do some stamping. And my first card, I'm going to, or I'm gonna use some Mango Melody as my ink. Now, I have to tell you a little bit about this. This is how I choose to use these stamps. So, 
I looked at my stamp set. Sometimes doing double time or triple, triple time stamping can be a little um, frustrating until you figure out how to line these up properly. So I wanted to show you how I do it. It doesn't mean it's the right way, but it works for me. So I looked at my stamp set and I can clearly see that this flower has a big divot right there. And so I mounted it so that it has a big divot right there, okay? That's my number one. This is my number two. My number two happens to have, uh, let me look at that again. Nope, that's all right. Happens to have this kind of goofy looking petal up here and some funky petals right over here. So I mounted it just like that on the stamp. And then for our outline stamp, again, it's got a big divot right there and a big divot right here between the petals. So I mounted it just like that. I'm going to keep these right here in order, in the correct direction to make my stamping easier. That's how I found this works best for me. Now you may have a different method. I'm going to ink up this number one stamp in the Mango Melody. Let me get this out of the way. And we're going to stamp it. Now with photopolymer, you want to give the ink a little bit of time to soak in. You don't just stamp and pull it off right away. You give it a good push. There's number one. Here comes number two. And you're going to take a look at this and line it up as best you can. There's number two. I'm a little bit off here because I can't quite get my head right over top of it. Then I'm going to bring in my black. Or you could use a darker color instead of black. And I'm going to stamp that. Look at that. I'm close. I'm a little bit off again because I can't get directly over it. But I'm going to be die cutting this with the floral die. Now how do you line this up? Well, again, I look for some type of a mark on my die. I've got a big divot right here and I've got the big divot right here. So I'm going to see, does that line up? It does. So now I know I need to look for that divot no matter which way my cardstock or my flower is. I need to look for that divot and this divot instead of sitting here and messing around and not being able to figure it out. That's what I look for. I look for some type of a distinguishing mark to be able to line this up quickly. Okay, so we have another, we have two more flowers to make. So we're going to do that as long as we're here. I'm going to clean my stamps off with my Stampin' Chamois. If you guys don't have one of these for your stamp cleaner, I used to use the spray in our Stampin' Scrub all the time. This is so much better. Like, I love this thing. It is the bomb. Haley was actually using it yesterday, and she commented how very cool it is. Like, it's like magic. All right, here comes, I'm going to put this back up here in order in the right way. Here comes some rich razzleberry, and we're going to stamp that. Notice I'm holding that stamp for just a little bit to let this all soak in. Now, this is our distinctive stamping. Um, it's a type of mm, procedure they do on the photopolymer to make these images look real life. Oh, I think I got this lined up pretty good. I did. Look how pretty that is. Is that not just gorgeous? Yeah, it is beautiful. All right, here comes black for the outline. I'm going to see if I can do a little bit better on this one. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. So there's our next flower. And then that one was Rich Razzleberry. Now I'm going to come in with some pretty peacock. And I need to clean those stamps off again. We're making two cards. And I need three flowers for my two cards. So next is pretty peacock. And don't you love the way you use the first step? And you would think you would have to get a different color of ink. But you don't because the... The technique that they use to mold the rubber on the three-step stamping takes care of all the light, highlight, shadowing, so that you just need to use, you can use the same color of ink if you want to. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to clean this again. And 
this and then bring in my black. Oh, what are you saying? Yes, bottom of the screen. Who's talking about bottom of the screen? Is that glaring at you? I'm sorry, I'm missing your comments. And it's not letting me scroll back either. Oh, I'm way far behind. Okay, um, sorry. Here comes my black for the pretty peacock flower. Let's see if I got this lined up. Ooh, that one's even better. <laughs> There we go. So we have three flowers and we are going to die cut all three of these. And of course, through the through the magic of TV, I've already done that. Let's see. I've got, where's my other flower? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we've got that and that. And then we also, oh, here we go. We also need to stamp our leaves and I've got old olive ink for the leaves okay I don't know who's talking but if we're talking politics we're not talking politics we don't do that on my channel <laughs> that's just a way for a lot of people to get cranky we're here for happiness and I know there's a lot going on with the governors making announcements Ours just announced that our schools are going to be out until April 24th. But make sure we're, we're not talking politics. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I need two of these for these two cards that we're going to make. And here comes another one. I'll show this to you. Look at how that looks just so real. It looks like fossil-y, doesn't it? And then... Here is, I'm still in just the same old olive ink and I'm just gonna come in and do the outline. Well, that one's kind of jacked up, but you understand this one looked a lot better. Okay, then there's also a die for this. And again, these are those free dies that you can get with a $100 order, you can get these completely free. So we're gonna die cut those. I already die cut the flowers and here comes our leaves. Aren't those pretty? I think those are gorgeous. Let me put these away so I don't lose them, okay? All right. Ooh, Lynn said that is amazing. What's amazing? Are you talking about somebody's comment? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, you could use the Stamparatus and line these all up. That's a really, really good point. Um, who just made that point? Somebody just talked about the Stamparatus. Teresa did. You are absolutely right. That would make it super easy. It would also be a lot easier if I could get my head right here. But I don't want you guys looking at the back of my head. So um, I just didn't feel the need. I did have my head over these, however, and they turned out pretty darn good. So we're ready to make a card. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to... First of all, I'm going to bring in my inside layer, and I think what I want to do with that is my Rich Razzleberry. I think I'm going to use the number two stamp. At least that's what I, that's the way I look at it, is my number two stamp. This one is going to be a sideways one, so I need to do this. I'm just going to stamp this flower. Oh my gosh, Haley just opened up that door and I can smell the taco meat. It smells delightful. Now that I look at this, I want the rest of this flower in here too. So I'm going to come in and do this. Ooh, look how pretty, pretty that is, right? Oh, one thing I forgot to do too on my flowers. I did it on these. Let me show you. If you want to, you can have your center... And I dropped something. You can have your center. This does come with the center in the flowers, or you can use this little polka dotty stamp and you can add a center. And that's what I did here with black ink. So I did that on the ones that I die cut and not on the ones that I stamped here. So completely your decision if you want to make them a little darker. But the nice thing is, is you can stamp this on a separate piece of paper and die cut it with the die it comes with it and add it to your card with like a dimensional. You can put it in the center of the flower with the dimensional. Okay, so last thing I need to do here is the black part, the outline of my flower. 
And I didn't keep these lined up just quite right, did I? Nope, I didn't. So I don't know what I did here. This could be very challenging. Let me look. We might turn this over and start over. Oh, nope, I think I got it right here. Yep, I did. Woo! Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? I do love that. Okay, I didn't even have my glue out yet, you guys. Thank you, Sharon. All right, inside of our old olive card base. See how much ink I can get. I think I need a wipe. <laughs> that sounded kind of weird, didn't it? I think I need to get a baby wipe to wipe my fingers off. I don't want to get these cards messed up. But super duper pretty, right? I love that. Okay, then we're going to take this layer, and this is the one we ran through the country floral embossing folder. And I'm going to bring in my flowers here. I think Haley's leaving right now. And I'm thinking I just want them right here like this. I think I want this one. I don't know if I can do that. I gotta push this way down here. I haven't actually made these cards yet. They're kind of in my head. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this flower. I'm gonna keep it right here and do that. And then I'm gonna put this on dimensionals. And let's cut these. I'm still using up those edges. We're gonna squeak out every last dime out of these dimensionals. That's what I like to do. Here we go. We got one here, one here, one here, and one here. I better get a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? Tell me what, what is everybody wetting their whistle with? Yes, Gail just said it looks like a real wild rose. I know, they're beautiful, aren't they? And Mary Ellen would know her flowers, right? Because, she, well, you guys might not know this, but she grows a lot of flowers. Okay, here we go. We're gonna add this right here. And she's very, very funny. I adore her. Like, she's a super funny girl. There we go. Okay, so we glued this flower down, and now I'm going to put this one onto dimensionals. There's been some guy riding up and down our street on a four-wheeler lately, and we are not allowed to do that in the city. So, Steve's been making comments like, who is that? I'm like, I don't no, it's, you know, honestly, Steve, it's not my problem. I got bigger fish to fry. I'm trying to make this fit in here so that it doesn't go, oh, there we go. I don't want it to go over the top of my card edge because I need to put this in an envelope. There we go. I think we got it. Okay. Just like that. That looks really nice, right? Then, before we're done here, I thought, well, these holiday rhinestones, you can still get these in the store. These would be pretty on here. We happen to have these um, Mango Melody colored ones, and I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of bling to this card because, why not? Whoops, <laughs> let's, let's get one of those little buggers on there. Mm, how about right there? Is that pretty? I think that looks really nice. And then I want to put my leaves in here somewhere. Ooh, that was just an accident that that slipped right over that um, label. But I like that there, and I'm going to make it stay there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here and glue down my leaf right there. That's going to keep it on my card. It's going to leave this one popped up. You could put a dimensional under there if you want to, but you don't have to. Here comes our card base. And my crown is slipping into my eyes. Hang on. <laughs> Nobody wants a crown on the ground, right? I gotta stand up. I can't see what I'm doing here. There we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Now, where'd my envelope go? Right here. 
Look at all that. Gorgeous. I love this. I love this two wild rose stamp set. Okay, so I have one more card to show you. This one's going to be really quick because we already have all the pieces stamped and die cut. Here's our leaves. Whoops. I got glue on my finger. There's our leaves. Here comes our pretty peacock flower. I have already done our envelope flap and I used the pine wood planks embossing folder and see where I wrote on it right there because I can never remember what this one is called. Um, so I've done that. I've already taken one of our Whisper White layers and run it through. And by the way, this layer is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then I've got white that's four by five and a quarter. And a piece of black that's four by five and a quarter. We're gonna layer this onto our black. Just like this. Oh my gosh, those tacos smell good, you guys. Then, I asked Haley what color I should use for a card base, and she said, use a, a, some type of a pale blue. And I said, well, the only thing we have for pale blue is balmy blue, and she goes, no, how about pool party? And I thought, well, that's different, isn't it? Did anybody see my bone folder? Yeah, I don't know where it went here. Oh, here it is. It was hiding. It's right where it's supposed to be. I just couldn't see it. So we're going to use this and we're going to put this on there. But first I want to do a little stamping. Yep, I got to clean this. That's what I thought. I'm like, do I have to clean this? Yes, I do. And... Pretty peacock. I'm going to do this with the flower. I think this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the outline. This card is going to be a tall card. Look at how pretty that is, right? That looks pretty. I like that. We'll put this right on the inside of our card. Get that out of the way here. And there we go. Now, here's what I wanted to do to this. I wanted to bring in this sparkly ribbon, and this is called Glittered Organdy Ribbon. It is beautiful. And I'm going to put it around this layer and just tie a knot. So this is gonna be super easy. I'm gonna do it way over here. We might have to adjust it a little bit, but we can handle it, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we can handle a little adjustment. Cut this off. Look at how pretty that is. That little bit of bling, we got a little sparkle going on there. Then, here comes our black label that we already made. I'm gonna throw some dimensionals on the back of this. And I think we want some dimensionals on the back of our flower. And look at, I just used up another whole, whoops. Hang on, I got that in the wrong place. Oh, there we go, shoot. Just used up another whole sheet, I was gonna say. I got some baby dimensionals here, so we'll throw that in. There we go. All right. Here we go. All right, here's our flower. Here's our label. It's gonna be a lot of white space on this one. Okay, so I see that I do need to pull this over a little bit further. If you bend your card like this, you can get you can move your ribbon around wherever you need it. Get that way over on the side. Here comes our. Yep, that'll work. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit more. I see I've still got just a little bit of room here. Okay. Here we go. Get this on here. Does that look straight? Yep, okay. Here comes our flower. 
And I'm going to do that right in here. And then we've still got this other leaf. We already die cut this, so by golly, we're going to use it. I'm just going to, mm, that would have been interesting to tuck it down there, but I'm going to tuck it right up here. Just like that. I think that'll work good. Okay, on to our card base. Here we go. What do you guys think? Let's get some rhinestones in here. And I'm gonna take this one and put it right there. And maybe this one over here. And another one right down here. What do you guys think? Do you like that? Pretty, pretty. Okay, let's bring them both back in here. Here's the other one. Get all the garbage out of the way. <laughs> yeah. With our beautiful envelope flaps. What do you think? I wish you guys could talk to me, but then I'm sure it would be kind of chaotic. Because it's so much easier when people can talk, right? Whoops. To a wild rose and the wild rose dies. Beautiful, beautiful set. And there's so many more dies in here. Oops, let me get this one out of here. That we haven't even touched. Like, I didn't do anything with this flower or this sprig or this set of flowers. There's some more leaves in there. This is the Wild Rose. I just want to move it over so I can see the name there. Wild Rose and Two Wild Rose. Yeah. Now, if you're going to order, if you don't have this and you're going to order it and you want to get this for free with your $100 order, you're just going to add in the name or the item code or the name of the stamp set. You're not going to get the bundle because the bundle number already has the dies in there and you'll pay for them that way. You want to make sure that you're using the item code in the celebration flyer when you're getting your free celebration items, okay? So, um, to a the Wild Rose Dyes have, has a different item code. It's 155886, and the one that goes with this when you do a bundle is different. So, I just want you to know that. So, if you um, run into problems, you forget, you run into problems, you're going to go, oh, yeah, Kelly said you don't use the item code that's in the annual catalog. You have to use these. And the best way to do that is go to the online store. And once your order hits $100, it's going to tell you that you have a free item coming. And then you can go in, you click on the brochure, and choose which item you want. That's the best way probably to do it. i got to get my throat's getting really dry. But anyways, I'm really excited to have this third release of Celebration. I think it's perfect timing. That's a good reason to keep our mind off of the world troubles that are going on right now, right? Um, I'm going to flip you guys around because I don't like talking to the back of your head. There you are. Then I can see your comments. Yeah. So I thought this was really pretty. Kind of an interesting color combination, right? Mango Melody and Rich Razzleberry and then Pretty Peacock. Yeah. I like it. I think they turned out pretty nice. So. I am planning on being on live tomorrow night, or tomorrow sometime. I really want it again. I keep saying I want to get in here earlier, but there's just a lot of things that happened. And when we have a new um, sale, we didn't know what was on sale prior to this morning. So then it makes it hard to try to plan and get things done ahead of time, right? So once the weekly updates were available from Stampin' Up, when I got up this morning, I have to go in and grab graphics and put watermarks on them and all of the things so that I can put them on my blog and notify you guys about what's going on. Because if there's nothing worse, I don't like, I don't like my favorite store not telling me about a sale. Like, that makes me unhappy. Um, so I like to know there's a sale and then say, yeah, I don't need anything right now. Or... Yes, I need some jeans, or I need some new boots, or I need some. And speaking of new boots, did I show you guys my new boots? Look at these cutie patooties. Yeah, aren't those neat? 
they're from Skechers and I love them. And I don't have much more time to wear them because winter is going to be over soon. So, taking advantage of wearing the boots. So, um, I'm just reading your comments here, you guys. Thank you so much. I just hope that these Facebook Lives are, you know, a little bright spot in your day. Maybe take your mind off your worries for a little while. And, uh... I like to make the best of just about any situation and as long as we're stuck at home and I can't go out to eat lunch, I might as well be crafting and sharing that with you, all of my friends, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Thanks Sharon. Sharon says she loves my boots. I love my boots too. I think they're super cute. Um, I also got some of those gel shoes that they have. We have a Skechers store. It's closed right now and I got a pair that I need to take back because they didn't fit right. But I have kind of wide, wide, wide feet, so I like that they have wide sizes. And the gel shoes, oh, it's like walking on a cloud. It's so pretty. So did I tell you guys I didn't get my paper pumpkin? Like UPS lost it. Yeah. So I'm headed out to Kathy Miller's house where she has graciously allowed me to use her paper pumpkin so that I can get my alternate projects made for the Paper Pumpkin Blog Hop on Thursday, so I have something to share with you guys. Um, if you ever am looking for, if you're ever looking for any of my pr projects, you can always find them over on my blog, www.estampabove.com. Just scroll until you find the project you're looking for. Photos of these cards will be on there probably a little later tonight. I think I'm going to go check on Steve. I'm going to run out to Sherwood, which is like I don't know, 10 minutes away or so, it's about 10 or 12 miles, and, and go pick up off the door handle the paper pumpkin kit that I can use. And um, I probably won't get these pictures posted until later because I just need a little bit of a break. Not that I don't love being here. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But um, I got to do some other things too. <sighs> Dumb other things. <laughs> Not stamping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm glad. Who just said that? I'm looking at this. Denise says she loves seeing her favorite people on Facebook Lives. I'm so happy to hear that because it's just one way that we can continue to have some fun, right? I'm having fun. This is what I do. This is what I do for fun. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. The new paper pumpkin kit is adorable and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Um... Diane, is there anything else? I'll like, do you mean am I going to make another project? I'm not. That's all I'm going to make tonight. And I'm going to let you guys go so I can be on my merry way. Have a wonderful evening. I will see you back here sometime tomorrow. I don't know when, but... And I don't know what we're making. So I have to kind of figure that out, too. But I'll figure something out. Have a wonderful evening. Until I see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.